Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on November the 2nd. This is a great reading, a short reading, yet power-packed. Grow strong in the light. You guys, just like a, a plant, it needs light. It needs that sun to kind of grow stronger. And our Heavenly Father says, grow strong in my light, not on your own. The culture likes to kind of condemn our weaknesses, kind of expose those areas of vulnerability. And our Heavenly Father says, that is the point of attraction. I do not repel and rebel in those moments of weakness. Those are points of attraction. That is where I want to come in and shine through you. Flow into a yielded heart. You guys, that means we're going to have to turn our gaze, our mind, and our heart. Yield it. Surrender it into his light and his love. He is looking for hearts and minds that are yielded toward him. And that is mean it's going to flow. All of his abundance will flow toward us. Do not condemn yourself. Uh, this is something during the Lenten season last year. I think in Lent, we like to give up a lot of external things. I'm going to give up sugar, give up alcohol, give up whatever it is. We like to do things on the outside. But for me this year, it was really about an inside job and catching myself in moments of complaining or self-condemnation and being very critical of myself. So do not condemn yourself. When you catch yourself doing that, talking negatively about yourself, talking negatively about your weaknesses or our constant need for help, our Heavenly Father says, not in my light. Let me fully feel you. And reminding we were designed with this gaping chasm that only He can fill. Adam and Eve walked in continual and permanent union with our Creator and Savior. And then when that fall occurred, that is when there was this separation from the human form, from the spirit form. And our Heavenly Father says, as long as you are in this form, come to me. I will fill that gaping wound. I know your neediness. I designed you with that. The culture will not fill. The other thing is when the, the a yielded heart, one that is facing toward him, does not whine or rebel, does not complain nor turn their back upon, but instead musters the courage, gratitude, and trust will prime that pump and bring ourselves back into his powerful presence. So the readings for today, the first one is Psalm chapter 116 verses 5 through 7. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearted. When I was in great need, he saved me. Be at rest once more, O my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. The Lord is gracious and righteous when we are facing him for full fulfillment. He protects the simple hearted. Don't complicate things. He knows what we need. We just need to face him, seek and knock, and he will restore and provide rest for our soul. The next reading is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20. Always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. You guys, gratitude is going to be one of the things that kind of takes us from this place of culture, darkness, condemnation, shame, and guilt, and it into the, his powerful presence. Gratitude, giving thanks for everything. You guys, sometimes we just need to give thanks for the contrast, for knowing the darkness, seeing the darkness, knowing the light. The final reading is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says, in repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. But you would have none of it. I like to break this down just a teeny tiny bit. In repentance and rest is your salvation. This turning away is turning our back on. If you were, if we were going down a pit, going down the, in this right here, we start drifting in toward the pit of self-pity where we need to repent, make the U-turn and turn back up with a heart of gratitude, not turning our back on our creator and our savior in quietness and trust. And we were reminded a few day, days ago that quietness stillness is his classroom. The world's going to be filled with a lot of things, a lot of glittery, shiny things clamoring for our attention, but it is training ourselves for this internal stillness, tapping into him that is within us so we can take that stillness 
into the culture, into the darkness, if that's where we are, and be his light and his love. Y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.